from that point on, you just select a feature, you type in whatever it is that you want it to say, and then you have audio of you saying something without ever turning on your camera or speaking a word. This entire video is leveraging the power of AI to create content without ever turning on a camera or speaking a word. In fact, right now, you are listening to an AI-generated version of my real voice. Pretty cool, huh? Even better, all of the content you see here is contained within a single video editing application, including all of the stock footage and B-roll. Did I mention the open captions are being created automatically too? This is pretty darn cool. But let's turn off the AI for a moment. All right, so I think that's pretty cool, and it's actually really easy to do using Filmora. So it took me about, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds to record uh, this paragraph that they provide you to get your voice, and then from that point on, you just select a feature, you type in whatever it is that you want it to say, and then you have audio of you saying something without ever turning on your camera or speaking a word. They also have the built-in uh, stock footage, B-roll, that kind of thing. So if you wanted to, you could sit inside Filmora, type all the words that you want to say, grab some B-roll like I did for that short little clip that I just showed you, and create entire videos without ever having to turn on a camera or speak. I think that's pretty powerful. Uh, I think it certainly has, uh, you know, the particular spaces where it could be really helpful if you're doing instructional videos, if you're trying to teach people how to do stuff. Uh, I do see a lot of value there, uh, being able to leverage AI uh, to improve your workflow and maybe help you put out a little bit more content that you might otherwise be able to put out. Now we do have to tread lightly when it comes to AI. There's gonna be a lot of people out there that are trying to create all their content with the push of a button. And I don't know that that's the way we wanna go as creators, but if we can look to AI to be kind of an assistant and help us become more efficient at creating content, then I do think there's value there. But each of you are gonna to have to decide how you use AI uh, and how it can benefit you and your workflow or brainstorm on how you can evolve your workflow to incorporate AI in a bunch of different ways. Just about every application out there, including all of the video uh, uh, editing tools, are going to incorporate AI at some point. The reason that I have moved to Filmora versus Premiere Pro or other applications is the fact uh, of the cost, to, to be quite honest. You can get, at the time of this recording, you can get a, uh, what they call a perpetual uh, license, I think for like 80 bucks. Uh, so you buy it one time and then you have the software. Now it's not, they call it perpetual. It's not like a lifetime thing because I think at some point you can't get future versions, but once you do purchase it, you're going to get upgrades, I think within the version that you're in. I don't know the specifics on that. Um, they're not a sponsor or anything, but uh, I've just found it to be a pretty decent video editor that does everything that I want it to do. And now that they've released, I think it's um, Filmora 14 maybe, uh, now they have all the AI tools in there. This is just one of them. I haven't even gone through all the different AI options that they give. Uh, but I do plan on exploring Filmora. So if you are interested in finding a new video editor, something that's a little more uh, price conscious, but still has a ton of features, uh, then definitely stick around and click that subscribe button because I am gonna do some Filmora content uh, to kind of document as I go through uh, the uh, features that I find most helpful in the types of videos that I make. So. Uh, if you want to come along or provide suggestions on topics that you would like to see uh, more instructional videos on relating to Filmora, definitely let me know and leave a comment below. But let's jump over to the computer real quick. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this particular feature that transforms text into speech. And you can go one step further and make that speech your own voice. Let's take a look. All right. So we're inside our timeline right here. First thing you're gonna do is go to audio and then down here we have text to speech. You're gonna click on text to speech and then you're gonna click on start. It brings you into the text to speech menu. You see AI copywriting up here and then you see all of these predefined voices. If you click Want on any share. one of them, creativity simplified. You're gonna hear a variety of Want AI voices. Creativity. Some sound more Want realistic than others. Creativity simplified. And then up here I have the voice that I created. Life is like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get. But I wanna show you first how you create this AI version of your own voice in case you want to, to do that for your videos. 
and you'll see right here we'll do damn two and then you have this option to tap to record and then you click record and you read the paragraph that they provide so tap to record one day, a monkey rides his bike near the river. This time, he sees a lion under a tree. The lion runs at him. He is afraid and falls into the river. Boom. Then three of them become good friends. And once you've recorded that, you click clone voice. All right, so after that's done, you'll see that you now have this voice. Um, I do think that this particular like voice- a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Sounds much more like my voice than this one. This one kind of ended up sounding uh, like a little, I don't know, country bumpkin. Life Listen to this. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. So I would probably re-record that one. We can delete that and start over. But Life this is, is like the a one. box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That I think came out pretty darn good. Sounds like my voice. Um, it's obviously not going to have the inflections that you may use in every case, but it really does a decent job of creating uh, a similar voice to use, but um, definitely mess around with it. I recorded, when I did this one, um, I tried it a, a couple different ways to try to get to the inflection right, because it's a really weird paragraph to read. It's not how you would normally speak, so they must need that for some reason. So um, definitely play around with that. But once you have it, you can type, uh, anything you want. And click generate. And it's going to create that audio. And then it throws it right on your timeline at the end of any existing audio. So you see it put it down right, right here. Hi, this is Dan Courier and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. And there you have it, it's created that audio and then you can take that and you can put whatever you want in terms of video um, as you see what we did back here with all the different stock footage and now you can sit down and create videos without a camera and without even speaking so that's a pretty cool feature in my mind uh, I would say you have to think about how to use that properly. Uh, you don't want to sound just like a completely generated, uh, you know, artificially generated channel. Uh, YouTube is, um, you know, focused on that. I, there's a question now where they actually ask you uh, whether anything has been, if a person's uh, identity has been used or altered. So make sure you're doing everything by the book when it comes to YouTube and when you post these videos, but uh, understand that this is definitely a tool and this is just one of the video editors. Uh, if you have a different one that you can use or you wanna learn more about this one, um, then definitely stick around because I am using Filmora now to, to edit all my videos and we're going to be exploring uh, the AI features that are provided. In this particular video alone, I'm using the AI for both the um, the voice creation, uh, the background music is AI generated, so there's no copyright issues there. You li literally tell it the mood that you want to use, uh, and it helps you generate uh, that music, and it, it you know it automatically creates that track uh, for as much time as you need uh, behind your video. So a lot of cool things. We're going to continue to explore them. I hope you found this particular feature cool. I think it's kind of neat. Could be a little bit scary, so use it wisely. Um, but uh, a lot of cool things are coming uh, in the realm of AI uh, that are going to help benefit us as video creators. So what do you think? Do you think these kind of features are cool? Do you think they're frightening? Do you think you need a safe word when a computer can recreate your voice? Uh, there's all kinds of things that you need to consider uh, in the world and the age of AI. Uh, but I do think it's going to provide us with some some value that we can take advantage of uh, and uh, use it for good, not evil. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please consider clicking that subscribe button so you can continue to develop your creator fundamentals. I'll see you in the next video.